Patriots. We're now joined by Coach Terry Ray of the Washington Patriots. Coach Ray, first off, congrats on a victory last week against John Marshall, 30-21. to What were your takeaways from that game? Uh, good afternoon, guys. Uh, good win for us. Uh, we, we did really well in the first half. Second half, we made some mistakes, let them come back into it, but we never really gave up and fought back and won the game late. Coach, your team able to get that win, like you said, able to come back. And uh, for a young team to have that fight in them and, and show that ability to come back and not get their heads down, uh, what do you like about just that side of your team so far this year? Uh, we had a lot of kids step up last Friday. Uh, I was I was very happy with the outcome that we had. At any time there in the third quarter when stuff was going wrong for us, a lot of them could just put their head down and gave up. But uh, a couple of the seniors actually stepped up. Uh, Garrett, uh, I'm sorry, Garrett Fobble came in late because uh, Isaiah tweaked his ankle and carried the ball well for us in the fourth quarter. Uh, Grant Clark come up big. He had a blocked uh, punt. It was huge for us. Ended up giving us the touchdown, leading to the touchdown to, for us to go ahead. And then Dominic uh, Dagnazio definitely stepped up. He had two picks, and one was for a pick six in the game. How much confidence does this give your team going into this week against Hedgesville? Anytime you win on the road like that, five hours away, it's a good confidence builder for you. Uh, the kids are excited. Uh, we're opening EPAC play. Uh, it's Hedgesville. They used to play these guys first uh, first game of the season. It's also homecoming, so there's a lot of electric going on around here right now. Coach, to be two and two through four games, uh, what do you think that, I guess, or how does that feel to be at this point? Is that about where you expected the team to be? And and just uh, overall, what's your thoughts on the first four games of the year? We, we've shown improvement through the first four weeks. Two and two, we're happy to be two and two. Uh, we would have hoped to have been three or one, maybe four and zero. Oh, but two and two, we're definitely happy where we're at. Uh, we still got to clean up mistakes. We're still making young mistakes here and there. A couple hiccups still on offense. We still got guys that still aren't concepting a few things. But overall, the progress is good, and I like the uh, attitude in the way we're playing football right now. As you talked about earlier, homecoming week against Hedgesville team also 2-2 two and two after suffering a loss last week. Had some injuries for them, so trying to get healthy and get ready for you guys this week. But on your end, what has the preparation been like against the Eagles? Uh Hedgesville is Hedgesville. It's, it's a Coach Blair uh coach team. They're going to be aggressive and tough, and they got some weapons. They can spread you out and, and make mismatches here and there on guys defensively. Uh, offensively, uh, you got Aiden Fleming that we're going to have to defend. Uh, their defense is pretty tough. They, they play a lot of man coverage. Uh, we got our work cut out for us on Friday night. And you mentioned it being homecoming, uh, and like you said, you know, Hedgesville, a team that has – a pretty big rivalry, I'd say, with Washington within the EPAC. Obviously, all the EPAC schools have a little bit of a rivalry going, but with that at one point being that kickoff game and, and just the fact that these schools have been really competitive with each other, uh, that got that has to add a little bit more to this one, Coach. Yes. Uh Kids talked about it on Monday, and we, we sat down because the JVs played against Hedgesville and the worst seen us after film and breakdown and install had the conversation it, it's still the opening of EPAC for us it ain't the first game of the year but it, it's a personal game to those guys I know this is kind of a cliche on our end but does this game almost feel like a must win game for you guys uh if you're looking at it that way, yeah, uh, it is a must game but we always say every week's a must uh, must win game for us we need to go one and know each week all right, Coach, appreciate the time, and good luck this Friday. Appreciate it, guys. You have a great afternoon.